So we're at Jesse's castle because Jesse bought a couple of new hay squeezes. Or, yeah, new hay squeezes. And well, he conned me into going down and driving one back. One's two years old because everybody keeps asking me if we got two new ones today. So one's used, one's new? Right. Okay. But one needed a little bit of work, so. Okay. The only thing I know about hay squeezes is that they're like super short, super heavy, and have no suspension. You ready to drive one? I'm so excited for 200 miles of bouncing down the road in a hay squeeze. <laughs> drive so, like a car, man. we're going to head south. Bill's going to give us a ride. And then we're going to road trip a couple of hay squeezes a couple hundred miles north. Hopefully make it back to the castle. Let's do it. That one there looks nice, but there's these ugly things over here. What are these ugly pieces? Who would be painting something <laughs> This thing looks nice. That one does look good. Yeah. That one looks way better than yours. You know what? I'm thinking that he likes that guy better than me because that one looks nice. I got like the stock model. They definitely did a better job on that one than yeah, yours. They did a lot more. We better go talk to Ed about this. See what priority list. Look at, the, look at the LED lights. Yeah, on look the at all that. Look, what's going on, Ed? So yeah, he's got the grill in there. Yeah. I don't even have matching lug nut covers. You don't even have matching grills. No. Well, you got a Freightliner grill on that one over there. You got... Hmm. Uh, we're going to have to go to talk to him about this. We're going home. We're leaving them. <laughs> we don't want these things. So this one's what, two years old, you this said? This one's two years old. And that one's brand new? I remember someone saying they would never buy a brand new squeeze. I said I was never going to buy a new squeeze. First thing we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to switch the lug nut covers because this one's gonna get used more. So we gotta put the short ones on the. Oh, to make used. this the shell one? Yeah, you gotta make this one the shell one. How come yours don't look like this one? This one's going to California for sure. That one's really nice. All tire shiny back. Check out metal flake paint. No wonder they parked this one up front and yours off out in the dirt. I think they're real friends. It's a nice piece. That's really nice. Look at the paint on that thing. This ain't even been walked on the, yet. This one has Look at all, that. The, all the chrome on the inside. It's got the wood floor. Oh, wood floor. Yeah. Holy crap. Oh, yeah. Look at that. This is the difference, Casey. This is hay guys, that's straw guys. <laughs> this guy definitely doesn't own trucks. No, he has trucks. But Look at the whole, the whole AC unit. The AC's all chromed out. This is hay, not straw. Mm. This is hay hauler shit. Peasants. Peasants, yeah, we're... How many lights are up there? We're in the shop now checking out the new ones. As you can see, here's the rear end. Um, I think it's gonna be a rough ride home because the suspension is gonna be the air and the tires. So that's all solid, all the way right up to the seat. Got stops on this side. This end is the back end when you're using the fork, so this ends up being the counterweight. But going down the road, it's super heavy, obviously. And then the whole mass and goes right here. Pretty cool little setups. So this here is the frame to one of them in this jig right here. This is the frame upside down. See right there is it right side up. So this front end right here where the bumper is, that's that, that's the tow hook on the bottom. Look how thick the frame is. Come back around here. Here's the rear axle mount. So the rear axle will sit right here. That's where the mass drops in and mounts. And it's on this big rotisserie so they can roll it back and forth to weld it all the way around. Here's two frame rails. Look how thick they are. Those are two side plates, the rails that go in there, and then they weld in all the cross pieces. 
And here's a cab built from scratch. There's the jig that the cab sits in where they weld all the cab panels together. That is a big table. That's a water jet table too. Yeah. That's big. Oh, so you don't you don't cut this out before you do the bend? So you bend it, then you finish you cutting out the door. Out. And those are the doors here. Okay. Even the exhaust guards and everything. It goes in the water jet and then it skips. Yeah. So it skips to hold the piece in so that when they bend it, it doesn't warp this big flat panel. Then they just finish zipping that out and there's your doors. I'll be doing the water jet, same thing. But so these, these, are, these fenders are quarter inch thick steel. Yeah, that is a spring mount. Well, look how big this, the shackles are. Look how thick the shackles are. Oh, yeah. Well, I said they build these just to be heavy, heavy to hold in place while they lift. It is a 90 inch wheelbase. And they're hanging that big stack of bales yeah, off the end. On the, on the so it's got to just be a tank to sit there. These things are solid, solid. And here's one with most of the body on it. It still needs like the whole front part there. But everything built completely right here in house. There's that back, uh, back panel piece. You see they finish on this one, they finished cutting out those tabs and they put the hinge in. So now it's the hinge to get all your controls and your hydraulic valve body and stuff. This is a cool, cool operation. Here's a Peterbilt being converted. So it's gonna be a Peterbilt on the front end and the hay squeeze on the back. I don't know if we have another cab back here, but yeah, look at no suspension at all. Just solid. They plate the frame. They said they go up underneath the Yeah, he said they'll plate it all the way through in there. I wonder if they counterweight the front end of these. This started out like a California single axle truck. Probably. Oh yeah, they got all the front off it. I bet they're gonna counterweight the front end here. I mean I could probably just ask, but I'm gonna just assume. Oh, and this is so not a Peterbilt, it's a Kenworth, my bad. Oh, this is probably the weight for it. Okay, so we got some more information. Uh, that big rack over there is gonna go right here and then have a seat on it. And then it's gonna have a steering shaft that runs back. Here's part of the gear drive of it to run back into the steering of this truck. So this is gonna be the headache rack that goes on there where the driver sits in a seat back here on the back of that. And here's gonna be the new front bumper of that truck. Control box right there. This is gonna be weighted. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. Late 50s? That is a monster. Well, you're kind of throwing off the scale a little bit. If I stood next to it, it's not going to look quite so big. <laughs> yeah. Look at the size of this thing. They're drilling through these hardened shafts. Look at the color they got to guide it. Yeah. That is a monster. Jig. Set, set the jig, make the same drill hole every time. Where do you want this is an impressive operation here. And they're assembling here. Look how the Rebuilding them over there. Yeah, the, the shavings are thicker than what my drill can yeah. cut. <laughs> Holy crap. Look at the size of this. That's got, what is that, a two-inch? Bigger than that, I'd bet. Her influencers hey, hey. influencing. <laughs> yeah, look at the size of this bit. I bet that son of a bitch weighs 40 pounds, too. Probably. This is an impressive machine. This thing's massive. This is all your weight. You fill the fenders with this for counterweight. Is it steel, Ed, or what yeah, is all steel. Oh, okay. We tried stainless, it's too slick, we can't pack it. Oh, really? That's 
That's unreal. I never thought of that. A punch, yes, it's a, from a punch press. From when they're punching out holes yeah. and stuff, it's all the scrap from that. Yeah. Well, that's one way to recycle. Yeah, what do you think that piece weighs? This is Bill, by the way. Um, he's got Cascade View Farms. He's Jesse's neighbor up there. No way. It, it moved. I'm just impressed in that. <laughs> what do you think that weighs? 900,000 pounds? <laughs> yeah. Got all the mass sitting here ready to go. Fork carriage. I'm just impressed that you budged it. Oh man, it's heavy. I like the color of this one. This one's getting repowered. New engine, new transmission. I guess they're they're updating this one to all modern stuff. Hey Jesse, you're getting put to shame out in this parking lot out here right now because you are already outclass us a little bit here, but there's more showing up. Time to step it up. Oh, man. How does a Peterbilt out there? I'll go get my tow truck. <laughs> Amber. Oh, oh shit, check it out. But you have to be a California hay to get that package. Look at that. All back in there. Everything goes here. Look at all the top ones too. Fancy. Hey, all yours do is just like turn on. Yeah, we usually rip them off. Yeah. <laughs> Look at that one matching there. And there's the truck out there. There we go. the first truck that I ever loaded that made me want to have a hay truck was a California hay truck. And I went like this because I knew when I had a truck I wanted something cool and I looked at the tire size and I never forgot that a cool truck had 255. <laughs> is that what it is? That's what, That's it what does it? That's what does it. That makes all the difference. You don't have 255s, you don't got shit. Oh yeah. All fancy. All fancy. <laughs> all chromed out. Wood floors covered up here, of course. Chrome pedals. I've seen the pictures of it, yeah, it the one you had. It was yeah, nice. It was cool. As a Western Star owner, it's really weird to reach down to a door handle. <laughs> <laughs> I, got, I, got, I, got, I got a 4700. <laughs> yeah, I got a 4900. Yeah, everything's everything's up here. <laughs> yeah. You ready to roll out of here? We're ready. Ready. I was so nervous about driving your brand new, fancy, expensive oh, hay squeeze. Yeah, I think so. Oh, I'm taking the older one for sure. Yeah. Yeah. But I, I felt a lot better after I saw that one and realized that no matter what happens, at least I didn't wreck the nicest squeeze I've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> hey! Is there anything special I need to know about like hydraulic pumps or weird stuff like that? Oh. Because I've driven a lot of things, but I've never driven a hay squeeze. Yeah. So, <laughs> I don't know if you knew that or not. I you, you rode, what do you mean? You drove the whole time. Rode? I never Did drove you? one. Oh, so uh, you want to lift the, look at the mast. Yeah, off the ground. Off the ground. You want to make sure that you, uh, you have to do that when it's in work. So the switch. Okay, work. there's a work the mode. Work switch. And then once you get the mast lifted off the ground, then you switch to the highway. Okay. And now you can hit drive, push your brakes in, and there we go. Good enough. All right, let's see uh, how this goes. Like I said, I've never driven a hay squeeze before, and one thing I definitely did not know or realize beforehand is they don't have any suspension on this back axle down here that we're sitting on top of. So, I'm guessing it's going to be a bouncy ride. Okay, a few miles in and a few things I've noticed. Number one, uh, I finally had to turn on the AC right there. Very important. Number two, there's no 
no mirrors, no side mirrors on these things. Jesse's has a driver's side mirror right there. Mine's got nothing. It's got this mirror right here, the rear view. Uh, so it's got that, but no side mirrors. Um, I guess that's in the barge, you don't wipe them off. And number three, it's number three. Oh, number three is you've got no visibility in this whole area out that side of the squeeze because that exhaust there, the door, the seat, you can't see hardly anything over there. So that's number three. All right. Um, we're supposed to be going to get lunch, so I'm excited for that. They said this is the best place in town, and it makes sense. Good? Good. All right, all done with lunch. Back on the road. I realize you could drive with the door open, too. It's kind of scary, though. I might fall out. Oh yeah, good luck getting across this road. Okay, so now we're heading through Klamath Falls and uh, get back on 97 up here and head up north back towards home. At least it's a nice day out. I guess we're we're not stopping at the scales today. That's the truck scale, that's the port of entry into Oregon. I don't know what the rules are with the hay squeeze in Oregon and scales, but Clearly we're not stopping. I'm okay with that. Okay, so none of us thought to check the fuel before we left. And this one, that one I think is full. This one is a used machine, obviously. Uh, we ain't gonna make it home. So we're stopping here at the truck stop. We're gonna get us some fuel before we head up the road a little farther because we get into a whole lot of nothing. It's a good thing you're here because I would never thought to look underneath the floor mat to find the fuel filler. You didn't see when we were in the, no. in the manufacturing, I noticed. No, that. I'd have been totally lost. I've been searching all over the stupid thing for a fuel filler. Okay, we spent enough time at a truck stop for one day. We're getting out of here. That's Bill. Bill's driving Jesse's truck back. Uh, if you like like farming type of stuff, Bill's got a channel. I'll put a, a link there. Go check out what Bill does. He's got a beautiful farm with the view of the mountains. Okay, back north. Well, might be have a customer here. And if you're wondering uh, what it takes to do 65 miles an hour in a hay squeeze, it takes 2,000 RPM. These things are most definitely not geared for the highway. We have made it back to the castle. Uh, these, these poor things need a break. They've been running like crazy this whole time. It's such a beautiful place. This is a great view out here. And then it's got hay squeezes parked in the driveway. Oh. dorks with two new toys yes that's exactly what we are yeah, yeah. Like 16 year old kids going on <laughs> yeah hey, Dad, can we go get those? Uh, I, the the bouncing up and down of the bumps with no suspension was not nearly as bad as i thought it was going to be but the every single rut sending it five miles off in the other direction that that's a problem or when there was that one spot by sun river i think was that where it was by the scale they just kind of started slowly bouncing yep. and you could just feel the road yeah I, I really liked it though when we stopped for fuel and you're like did those ruts throw you all over the place too and i was like yeah because that means it wasn't just me <laughs> <laughs> i was like is, it, is that my driving yeah or was that's it what i was thinking too is that a hey, maybe this thing, thing he, or maybe he needs to go back and get aligned again <laughs> yeah oh i can imagine these things once the kingpins get wore out or something like that would be a nightmare on the road they are way better with this brakes yeah they so that's the thing the pedals in these are backwards or upside down so I have big feet, so they my feet push up here. And normally, like the higher I push on a pedal, the more it is. I'm like, man, you got to press really hard to like get this thing to slow down. And then I realized that, and I pushed on the bottom of my toe, and I about put this thing up on its nose. <laughs> These guys don't look nearly as tough now that they got shaved. 
<laughs> She's gonna be like, you put that on the internet? <laughs> Jesse, I think you're about the only person out there who has hay squeezes parked in the driveway of their castle. I doubt there's anyone else in the world who can say that. Well, you know, you just gotta do whatever you want to do. <laughs> I don't know what to say. Life advice: just just go just do whatever do you want to do. do. Well, I was watching a Bradley reel, and he's like, "You got you got to stop listening to what everybody else says success is and figure out what your success is." And I'd be pretty content to just hang out here all day long every day. Oh, I watched that one. Did you watch that? Yeah. It's right, right? Yeah. I mean, I don't. I think two roadrunners and 120 acres. And go to the lake whenever you want this time. Oh my away. god. I mean, that sounds about right. Yeah. What a life. It's not the worst idea ever. <laughs> For safety, that's why. I, I know, it's just weird. I've never seen it before. Well, so, you're, Jesse? You're getting sophisticated. What's up? All right, so there's an event coming up here this fall. Yes. These will be there? Everything. My trucks will be there. I'll be there too. When is it and what is it? Bill's so, going to be there. I'm yeah. gonna be there. You bring like a tractor every, every, or something? Yeah, might as well drive something. Yeah, yeah drive your tractor over. So September 21st, we're gonna have a big outdoor stage. We're gonna have probably 15 speakers. It's gonna be um, a business-related event. The best way to put it for every industry. So not just ag or trucking. It doesn't matter um, what type of business is what type of business it is those dogs look so goofy they need their hair back oh it's horrible <laughs> so it's going to be a business networking event for any industry it doesn't matter what it is it's not an agricultural show it's not a trucking show that's what everybody thinks it is it's a business networking event so there's going to be vendor spots there's going to be a vip night it's going to be something that nobody in agri trucking has probably ever been to. That's but the there will be it. ag vendors there. There will be ag there vendors. There will be trucking, trucking vendors, vendors there, there. Trucks for truck show, equ equipment, yeah, tractors, we're gonna all have, that stuff too. So you see all that. Yeah, we're going to have designated area for people if they want to bring trucks and park and stay. You'll find me stuck off out in the back where no one can yeah, find so me. We have 120 yeah. acres we can fill up. Yeah. But up at the house is where the business event, and that is a specific business event. So you'll have we'll have speakers that most people haven't ever listened to before. So they'll be from different industries, uh, business owners that have built and exited businesses from HVAC to home service probably to fitness, like all types of different things. So it's gonna be, um, it's gonna be definitely a different experience for everyone. September 21st. September 21st. 10-4 coaching? Well, 10-4 coaching is putting it on. I don't actually... I was going to say, how can people figure out like if they want to go to it? Yeah, they need to go to 10-4coaching.com, but there's not a landing page yet. So I don't know when you want to... Do this it. is a sneak peek. This is a sneak peek. But watch... I'm letting you guys in early because I like you. Yeah, so follow... Some of you. Others, I don't at all. Like, not even a little bit. There's a vendor interested form that will be that's on a landing feet. page. Yeah, I mean, well, that's this whole thing. I mean, yeah. this is why people follow you because it's like we're giving them the real the live... <laughs> organic whatever I it do is, like right? most of yeah. them but not all yeah so some of them only <laughs> yeah. the good followers yeah <laughs> <laughs> so yes as the dogs are playing in the front yard they're they're excited they're ready to go they're trying to rub some grass on them to feel like they have hair <laughs> back <laughs> oh, Michelle's gonna kill us she's like I can't believe she's like don't ever post them well you didn't I just yeah, she didn't true. tell me not to <laughs> gotta be specific Michelle Oh man. So yeah, September 21st. You have to be here. There's no life changing not to be. event. Life changing. Bill's been to what? Four or five of them? You've only missed one. How many have we done now? Um, five. Five. So you've been to four? Mm hmm. Yeah, I mean, it's just um, that's why I did it because I flew to all these different events all over the United States and went to them. And I went, you know what? I want to have one event where I can bring all of these people from different areas so different industries that's the biggest thing is people go to a truck show or they go to an ag show or they go to a whatever type of conference and they they're maybe that industry specific but they don't get new information so you're going to come and you're going to get different information from and different ideas from all types of industries and then you can go home and implement new ideas into your business september 21st september 21st 10 for coaching 10 for coaching is that like dot com dot com okay be there. Check Be it out. Hey, 
Do you want to do all that again? Because I didn't hit record. We can. Just kidding. You're way too easy going. We can.